I'm so excited. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> While we travel around in Manhattan to find different um, movie places, film places like Ghostbusters one, we're gonna ask each other... Oh, come on! We're gonna ask each other questions about movies we like and... You know, things about films, things that we really like, other than ourselves. <laughs> First question, is there any movie that you went watching on the movie theater and you regret it? Yes, there is. And you'll be surprised what it is. <laughs> okay, what it is? It's Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> really? No, shut up. <laughs> I was hoping for a like, a lot better movie and it was kind of meh, you know, and I don't know. It was just not not what I was expecting. <laughs> Mine is also from Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I went watching uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Yeah, it was the one of the worst movies I've watched on like movie theater and I regret every second of it, like every penny I spent for that movie. It was really bad, honestly. One of the worst jobs, worst thing that Marvel created. That's why. I, I honestly, I expected a lot. That's why. <laughs> but it's not uh, like Spider Man is not as bad as X Men. You should keep that in mind. Spider Man is watchable. But X Men, I watched it back home. I'm like, I'm a huge X Men fan. But Me Dark, Phoen Dark Phoenix I is like a. It's like a little, little flip, flip, like a flip onto the X-Men uh, like universe. I think it's very, very bad. What is one movie that shaped your character? One movie that shaped my character. Hmm. I think I'm gonna say. <laughs> Did you pick? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You didn't say that. No. Um, I'm going to go with About Time. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I watched About Time in high school, and I was like, I. I decided to be a better person every day thanks to that movie, you know? That wow. movie was like giving me a lot of hope and I'm like, I watch About Time whenever I feel like there is no like reason to live, you know? That gives me a reason to live, you know wow. what I mean? Yeah. I think everyone, everyone must have a movie like About Time in their life where they feel really lost so they can watch it and just find themselves. That's why. <laughs> that was a good answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what about yours? So, I think I'm gonna go with Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> okay. It's kinda cliche, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not, it's not cliche. I think it's a very beautiful the movie. The first time I've seen that movie really changed me. Like, I was in a very deep, very dark place, and then I watched that and I, like, instantly gain my, I don't know, inner hope back, like, I don't know. <laughs> Everything was way better after that, watching that movie, because I, I realized there was always a hope, no matter how bad your life is right now. I, I don't know, you get me, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're in Washington Square. There has been some real good movies here. What movie do you remember? I remember the movie Begin Again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Go on. Yeah, they were filming right under the arc. Yeah, I the remember scene that. scene where they sing the song. Tell me if you wanna I go, go home. home. <laughs> I don't know the rest. <laughs> you get the idea. I don't, I, I don't know the rest either. <laughs> Our next stop is... <laughs> Guess. <laughs> Spider-Man.
what director would you like to work with? Hmm. I have a lot of names that I'd like to work with, but I have two specific names that I really want to work with. The first one is Luca Guadagnino, because I think uh, he's very brave with his scenes and I think he's a genius. I mean, have you seen the challengers? It was like incredible. Of course, the best work of his totally call, call me by your name because I think he knows what color grading is, what color correcting is. That's why his movies are always so like dreamy. You know what I mean? Captuating. Yeah, captivating. Yeah. It's immaculate. The second one for some obvious reasons is Ari Aster because I am a huge fan of his work because I think he is not afraid of being repulsive. Like he probably has no limits creating some certain scenes and I believe he knows what disturbs some people and he knows what is psychologically a real horror movie. He doesn't mess with, you know, very um, cliche things like in, let's say, Exorcist or The Conjuring. He knows how to scare you and I think that's a huge plus for a director, especially in horror industry. And that's why I'd like to work with him. He's a genius, obviously. But I also want to work with Christopher Nolan. He's also a genius because I love his work of like not, not using a linear timeline. He always like mess things around and that I think that's really cool. It's your turn. <laughs> All right. The first director I would like to work with is Wim Wenders. Ooh. I love him. Like his work of Paris, Texas, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh. It's amazing how he can um, give us the whole movie without giving us any reason why plot is going that way, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't know anything till the end and then everything makes sense. Okay, you can go with like not losing focus until the end of movie and you don't even realize how the time passed when you're watching, which is a great mm -hmm. talent. But Not every single director can manage that. Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> what to <you> say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alone and Men in Black 2 was shot in this place. Yes. Right? Yes, exactly. We're the Men in Black. We keep the peace, protect the earth, and deliver the mail. Now, ma'am, stay still. <laughs> How am I supposed to put it in my mouth? Go ahead. It was amazing. It was yeah. the one of the best burgers I had. Yeah, right? Yeah. I know. Okay, the next question is, what film do you think has the best color correct combination? Um, I think my answer to that question would be La La Land. La La Land. Okay, that's yeah. an obvious question. <laughs> I love the colors in that movie, the combinations, the scene where they show purple Emma Stone's yeah, face yeah. and then Ryan Gosling's face as blue. Yeah. You know that scene? Oh yeah. my god. Like wow, that that's art. No, yeah, exactly. I love the uh, lovely night dance scene because oh, it's yeah. I think the blue the combination of blue, purple and yellow is so good in that. Amazing. Yeah. For me so what about you? <laughs> for me it's Midsummer. You watched oh, Midsummer, yeah, right? I, have. I think Midsummer has the best color combination because I think he reflects the fear, like psychological fear and pressure by using a lot of yellow. Because yellow is a very mid color, like it's just, when you see yellow, sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you feel anxious, and it's just like, it's up to you. Oh, and it also symbolizes danger. Really? Yellow? Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Yellow. You see, I think in Midsummer has genius colors. Love it. I'm singing, singing in the rain. <laughs> Ye Soul, I guess that's how you pronounce it, send me a gift. You guys, I'm telling you, share your silly videos on the internet 
so you get free gifts. That's what I did. <laughs> Jeez, okay. We go to your soul fitness app and then there are like different um, things. Let's say beginner because I'm a beginner. And burning fat. Uh, it has a 20 minute low impact ride. Let's see what it is. Got it. And like it starts over here. It's like so cool. Since I survived, I realized. Last day. She's going. And when I'm back in Chicago, I feel. Bright horse. I know Bright horse. So this is Plaza, Plaza Hotel. Hotel. The only thing I remember about this hotel is Home Alone 2. Oh my god, look at that guy. Is she alive? <laughs> okay, today's first question is which movie has the best shots in New York? Like, what is the best movie? Okay, let me re-ask. <laughs> what is the best movie that was shot in New York, in your opinion? So, the best, I don't know if it's the best movie, but I think it represents the New York spirit like best. Yeah, the New yeah. York spirit's best. Uh, I think it's Any Hall, because... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Woody Allen has a passion for New York. He loves the city, he loves the vibes, and he shows it very good. Oh, he does? So, yeah, I think my answer is Any Hall. Any Hall. Yeah. Have, my answer is very cliche, but I'm gonna say Taxi Driver. Oh. Because I think Taxi Driver is the best movie that shows the real New York spirit, not Any Hall. Because New York is kind of messy, filthy, yeah. messy, and it's just like a filled with chaos and you don't know what's going on in one corner and in the like in another there is like a party going on it's this is that yeah. what it means you know so i think taxi driver is my answer and i love taxi driver by the way it kind of makes me feel like i love my life you know uh, because yeah. you know how he hates and then kind of shifts away from reality uh -huh. i think he's kind of reminding us that the reality sucks but sometimes you have to know how to deal with it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why do you like cinema? Oh, oh like, what a great question. <laughs> it is. When you watch a movie, you escape your life. Yeah. You are in a different reality than yeah, yours. Yeah, exactly. And it's better, it's like, it has more color in it, it has more romance in it maybe I don't know like you know it's better than your life sometimes but maybe it's worse than your life and you appreciate your life yeah exactly I mean it has everything in it so I don't know it, it's just amazing to see how people make these things like imagine these things yeah it's it's fascinating to witness a person's reality you know in, mm -hmm. like you know, Imagination. how we ask each other the same questions but we gave totally, like, entirely different mm -hmm. answers that shows that we have different imaginations. And I think it's really, like, wonderful to see someone create something that does not exist and you're like, oh my god, how did you even come up with that? Like, that's, that's ridiculous, for instance. Um, Game of Thrones, how did you even come up oh, with yeah. that? That's yeah. True. yeah. And I think... There's so many ways to tell a story. In my opinion, the best way is to make a movie. Oh yeah. I mean, you can write a book, you can sing a song, you can... Write a um, poem. Yeah, but I think making a movie is the best way to tell a story. You can dance, but I don't know. I think it's... it's when, I, when I say this, people will say, Making a movie to tell a story is like for people who are slow because when you try to understand a story from Let's say a dance move uh -huh. uh, Not everyone can understand that because you have 
like some certain abilities to understand it of course and some sense of art but when it comes to movies it's really easy to understand a story but of, I mean most of the time yeah most of the I, time. Mean, I agree with that but also when you make a movie you kind of combine everything we just said like poetry art yeah. dance yeah photography yeah exactly uh, colors colors yeah like everything combined what makes a movie yeah exactly I think it's the best version of us I think it's one of the best inventions that humans come came up with 